channel so if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button down below and also follow me on all of my social media I will post it all right here and today's video is actually going to be a Valentine's makeup tutorial and it's going to be a full face plus the eyes and I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I would do my makeup for Valentine's Day because I haven't done a tutorial for Valentine's in I think two years so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said it's gonna be a couple of videos so I think I'm gonna try to get two more of these up before Valentine's Day if I can and let me know how you guys like this look in the comments down below and yeah without further ado let's just go ahead and get started all right, so for our base today, I'm using this creamy concealer in Fair from Maybelline and I'm just applying that all over my lids. And I did do my brows off camera. I will link down below what I used for my brows if you guys are interested. Now to set the eyeshadow or our base, I mean, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm using my 109 brush from Sonia Kashuk and dipping in my Meat Matrimony palette from The Balm in the color Matte Lopez. It's just like a orangey brown shade and I barely have any, and when I say any girl, like any product on my, shade, on my eyeshadow brush, I'm just like using a little bit at a time and just working that into the crease in windshield wiper motions. Also using circular motions just to blend out the harsh edges. And then I'm gonna dip back in with a little tiny bit more product and just work that on the like kind of lower where we applied that first shadow just to kind of give our eyes more depth. Yeah, and don't poke your eye because my eye was like irritated from my brush, girl. So now I'm using my E22 brush from Morphe and I'm dipping in this matte Kumar and it's like a brown mauve burgundy shade and I'm applying that right underneath where I applied the transition shade and again I'm just going to be working that on the eyes with this brush and then going back in with the first brush that we used in the beginning to blend out any of the harsh edges and I'm going to do this about three times just to kind of get that dark layer of color that I want that I pictured and envisioned in my head and really blending it out does make a difference so you know if you guys are kind of like irritated with blending or you know you're not sure if blending is gonna make it look better just be patient girl it will look like a masterpiece like you can call yourself Picasso you know what I mean like just keep blending and be patient with it because in the end it will all look flawless when the whole look comes together it will be beautiful and then you can thank yourself you know for being patient so yep here's the last of it so again just blending it out and you want to make sure you flick up to blend out all the colors together now i'm using this revlon photo ready eye art in the color fuchsia fusion and i'm using that pink shimmery not shimmery pink like satin color that came with it and I'm just applying that to the inner corner of my eye and I'm trying to match it to the other eye secretly in the mirror if you can see that and I layered this color about twice and I let it dry in between each shade because it's kind of wet when it first goes onto your eyes so there's my ugly fanning face I know Ugh, no makeup girl now I'm using my 116 brush from Sonia Kashuk and I don't know why I didn't show this color but I'm using the color Matte Mouskowitz. It's like a dark purpley. Just applying that to the outer corner of my eye and I'm also blending that into the purple. And now we're going to have a dance party. And now I'm going to moisturize my face like always. And now I'm using the Hourglass Veil primer and yeah I was squeezing it for a little while it didn't come out and then finally it came out so at first it was a little bit intimidating that's why I'm making this ugly face because it was white but it felt pretty good once it was on my skin and this is my first time using this primer so I think I'll have to give it a couple of more goes before I make a review but as always girl this is my new favorite photo focus foundation from my wild it's like it's the best it makes your face look flawless and when I say flawless I mean flawless in real life and in person like it just smooths everything out I mean if you don't like the smell like I said in my review girl it it is it is the best the best 
So again, here I am with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna blend everything out. So if you guys haven't watched my review on it, um, I will link it somewhere in the video here. And yes, girl, my song came out. It was Drake and Party Next Door. I forgot what this, how could I forget what the song is called? But anyways, I was just singing along and I was like, this is meant to be, I'm filming and it just feels so right. So now I'm using the Maybelline concealer. It's like better skin, super stay concealer. I tried to use the one that I used as a base on my eyes, but it just didn't work out. So now I'm just contouring my face with this L'Oreal concealer and I'm just gonna blend everything out. All right, to set my whole face, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I'm setting everything, even where I contoured, and I'm using this Danielle brush with my NYC Sunny Bronzer. I didn't show it, I don't know why, and I'm just gonna use that to contour. Now I'm using this Benefit Dallas Blush, and I'm applying that just with like a flat top stippling brush just to make sure it blends in really nicely with the bronzer, and now I'm just dusting away all that excess powder and also blending everything in. Now I'm going, to, going in with my Golden Bronzer palette from e.l.f. Just highlighting my cheeks and also going to be doing it on my nose with my finger. That way it looks a little bit more natural. And then for lips, I'm using the Jouer Noisette Liquid Lip. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the new Kiss Lashes called Noir. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And also... Yeah, like I said in the beginning, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. I will have it all down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!